So in this class, we will cover uh, how log4j works. It will be like a very brief introduction to log4j. Uh, so here I have a program called log4j demo. It's a class. So if you see here, I import the log4j logger class from the Apache log4j org Apache log4j package. And then what you have to do is you have to create a static instance of your log of, of the logger and for the logger you you call the loggers dot get logger and you have to pass the current class class object this is the way you create a logger so it's an instance of this logger cl class so this small log is an instance of the logger class once you have created the static instance using the current class class object so the current class is log4j demo you have to pass the the class object of the current class so anywhere in your program you can just say log dot debug so normally you would do system dot out dot println right so instead of doing that you can say log dot info or log dot debug or log dot warn or log dot error or log dot fatal so there are like five different logging levels. The problem with system mode is it will always print. You cannot control it and it will always go to the standard standard output. Here you can control, uh, you can filter, you can make the logger log only some statements based on the level, the logging level that you have set in your configuration. Okay. So here what I am doing is I'm printing this line called entering application and I'm saying that its logging level is debug. Debug is the lowest level followed by info, followed by warn, followed by error, followed by fatal. So if I set this to info and if the logging level is debug then info will get printed. So basically what happens is you are setting the min uh, if the minimum threshold is one all logging levels above one will get printed and all logging levels below one will not get printed since debug is below one this statement will not get printed if the minimum threshold is one and where do you set these thresholds you can set it in the log4j configuration file which is an xml file or it can be a plain text properties file and here you can specify the class for which you want to specify the logging level. Either you can specify the class or you can specify all the classes within a package of a class within a package or you can specify a, a particular class within a package. Here I am saying that for com.training.log4j Java which is a package set its info level set its logging level as info and for the package log4j java bar even for that I'm setting at info we can change that this to like one and see what happens so if you go to log4j demo so for this class it's set at info but for the classes in the bar package bar sub package of the log4j java it is set to one so let's look at this class called my bar in which you have a method where I am going to log something at info level. So will this statement get printed? So will this statement did it again? Will it get printed now? No, because the, the current minimum threshold is 1 and info is below 1. Anything at or above 1 will get printed. Since info is below 1, it will not get printed. So let's try it quickly. And whereas here this debug will get printed, uh, debug is below info. So, so this debug will not get printed because it's set to info. And info is above debug. So let's quickly run this. 
So let me just uh, type all the lo uh, the logging levels. So you have the lowest level is debug, debug. So let me put a comment here. I'll just say uh, logging levels. So debug is less than info is less than one is less than error is less than fatal so now I don't expect both of them uh, I, I, I will only expect this one line to come out because for com training log 4j java it's set to info so this particular line is at info level so it will get printed debug is below info so I don't expect this to print whereas for my bar the my bar class is inside the bar pack bar sub package of log 4j java and for the bar sub package it is set to warn so this particular line will not get printed because info is below warn so I expect only the last line to get printed so let me run this right click here and say run as Java application and as expected it printed only exiting application so now if you want to play with this just go to the log4j.xml file and let's say I want to print even this entering application so what I will do is in the log4j.xml file for this particular package I'll change it to debug because debug is below info right and I want that print statement to be printed I want this print statement called entering application to be printed since debug is below info and sin since I have set it to debug it will now get printed so now what will happen is everything will get printed because I have set it to the lowest level okay but this one will still not get printed because it's at info and for the bar sub package it is at one okay so let's try each of them separately okay so now I'm going to run this now you will see both entering application and exiting application so now let's say I want to print even this guy okay so what I can do is I can make this one and it will get printed so let's run this program again see now it will print that because if you see the log4j xml file it is set to warn or what we can do is instead of changing this to warn changing that to warn we can change this itself to info and since this is at warn it will print because we have set it to info and warn is above info so let's run this again so it will still print okay now let's say in the log4j xml file I go and comment out comment out this is the way you comment uh, lines in an xml file it has to start with less than bang dash dash and end with dash dash greater than so I commented this line out now what will happen is it will get the logging level of the parent package because for the we have commented out the logging level for the sub package because bar is a sub package of log4j java right and then this logging level is set to debug and let's see what we have here we have it at one so it will still get printed so let's do one th so let's run this to confirm that so it still printed it now what I'll do here is in the my bar I'll set it to the lowest level debug and in log4j xml file I'll change this guy to info now what what do I expect 
it's set to info which is about debug so this line will not get printed but this line will get printed and in my bar java since this is a debug it will not get printed so the only line which will get printed now is this exiting application so let's run this again and you can see that it printed only exiting application so let's change this back to info and now this should also print, get printed see now it printed that so all your logging configuration is done in a configuration file and not only you can send it to a console you can also send it to a file or and then you can also once you send it to a file it becomes like a log file and then you can configure it so that the log file when it reaches a certain size it will automatically get backed up and a new file gets created so file log files do not become too large okay so it will automatically do that for you so you can also configure it so that it creates a log file for every day so you for every day of the week you'll have a new log file so you can if there is any problem you can go and search in the log files of a certain day whenever the problem happened I'll send you the links on how log4j more details on log4j but this was just a basic introduction to log4j okay